Hey guys, it's Shay from Skull Gaming Network. Welcome to another video and welcome to episode one of Retro Goal Skulls Road to Glory. Yes, we're going to do a Retro Goal series where I start in year one with the second division team and I build up. I try to win both the second division and the first division. And there's a bunch of different countries in this game, so I'll probably, once I win everything in one country, go to another country, try to win everything there, but let's load into the game. My personal save is the top one, so the second line is going to be my Road to Glory save. Now, my name is Skull Gaming on the first one, so we're going to be Skull Gaming II. So Skull Gaming the second. Oh, it won't let me put a space in it. What if I do dot II? Okay, that works. That looks good. My favorite team I am from the United States, and more specifically, I am from Minnesota. So in Major League Soccer, I am a fan of Minnesota United. Difficulty will do normal to start out. If you guys want me to up the difficulty, let me know throughout the series, and then we're going to do a full season. We're going to continue, but to start out, we don't get to start in tier one we have to start in tier two we could actually change the country we start with but i think we'll start in tier two and let's go to indianapolis take over indy at the standings table i've already gone through the tutorial once so i think i'm good with that then we have our first game right now against las vegas i'm not sure exactly how many games i'm going to do per episode i have a timer in front of me so I can see about how long I've been recording after each game. So here we go. Game one against Vegas kicks off. And we get the ball with Puget or Puget. Okay, I didn't mean to pass into a header. When it glows yellow, that means you're passing into a header. I'm going to give kind of an informal tutorial as I go. He will pass across to our midi, but we overpass it. Come on, come on. It looks like Mustafa from Lion King, question mark. Uh, here we go. Getting into the edge of the box. I'm going to try to pass it to this other midi coming in. There we go. I just missed wide. Just missed wide. But we get the ball back. That's always a welcome thing. Okay, turn around midfielder. Start going towards the goal, and I still overpass it. Get there, get there, get the ball back. Okay, we had to slide tackle, decent slide tackle. I'm going to cross that in. Okay, Bar is better at getting to the ball, and we get our first goal of the series. Bar 15 minutes in, puts us up 1 nothing. Let's watch the replay. So the slide tackle. And we pass it across, bar dribbles up, and from the arch just outside the goalie box, we put it in. Now, with normal, it's a dynamic difficulty. We're on dynamic 2. I've seen it get up to at least dynamic 8. So, don't worry. It will get more difficult as we play more games. But starting out with a not very good team... It's kind of a good way to get your feet wet. All right, let's play this ahead. Okay, get their attacker. It's you versus the goalie, and you put it off the post, but Bonwick gets our second goal. It is 2-0, and Vegas scores. They make it a 2-1 game at half. We're going to keep shooting left because I am right-handed. Here we go. Start the second half. Good pass ahead to the no-name midfielder. We'll pass ahead to Bar, and then I'm pretty sure that's Mustafa. That is Mustafa. Glad I'm learning my player names, because I'm going to have this team for at least an entire season. And then Mustafa goes, puts it in the upper right. It's 3-1. to one. We have three goals with three different players, and we get the ball back. We're going to pass across to Puget. There we go, Puget. Okay, we're going to lead bar. 
Barr loses it. Mustafa with the slide tackle. Barr gets the ball. Barr is going to dribble. No one's going to stop him, are they? Okay, pass into a no-name attacker. And we get the no-name goal assisted by Barr. It's 4-1. to one. We're in the 71st minute. So winning is pretty much a guarantee at this point. The question now becomes what will that final score be? Okay, pass ahead to Barr. Barr having a huge game for us. And we're going to kick it back to Mustafa. We're going to try to get an assist for Barr here. Mustafa winds up just inside the box and just misses it high for a goal kick. And we get the ball back in the 80th minute. Our defenseman Perez starts out with the ball. We're going to dribble up with him. I tend to not use defensemen too much because at least the ones I've had tend to run pretty slowly. Okay, we get it ahead to Barr. Barr dribbling in. Rips, and that is five. It's 5-1. Five, Our second goal to go with at least one assist. And we get the ball back in the 86th minute. We have a chance at a hat trick for Barr. More importantly, getting six goals in our first game would be amazing. All right, Barr, we're dribbling pretty recklessly here. Uh, okay, I can't stop dribbling like this. Oh gosh, that was a mess, but Barr gets the ball back, passes it along to the no-name attacker, who puts it in. So that's a second assist for Barr. He won't get the hat trick game one, but that's okay. And then final whistle, we win 6-1. to one. Let's see, what pleased me most about the win? It was a great team effort. Let's go through the stats. One assist for Puget. Two goals and two assists for Barr, a goal for Mustafa, a goal for Bonwick. We had two na name goals. And now we have our first player offered on loan, Gularte. Yes. It's free for five games. Hopefully resting didn't count as one of them, but we'll have to see. It did not count. That's good. And he's an 18-year-old prospect. We'll probably spend our bucks and bring him back. Now we're playing Charleston. I think this will be the last game of today's video. In future videos, we can you know just do one main game. We could even do three games. We'll see how the pacing goes for each one and what length you guys are liking for these videos. Starting off, Barr gets another goal, his third of the season. And seven minutes in, we're already up one nothing. Okay, we got the ball back. We're going to pass it to Perez. Our defensemen are typically rather slow-footed, so don't be too worried about that, um, at least in my experience, which, as you could see, is you know two and a half seasons on a personal save. I haven't had fleet-footed defensemen, and... You know, I'm not going to pretend I'm the greatest retro goal player, but that hasn't negatively affected me. Barr with his fourth goal of the season, second of the game. It's 2-0 14 minutes in, and we get the ball back in the 31st minute. And I pass ahead to this default. The default defers to Barr. Could Barr get a first-half hat trick? Okay, I didn't mean a slide tackle there, but it worked. Gularte. Can he get a goal on his first shot on loan? No, he puts it high. A great attempt, but didn't get it. And then Charleston cuts it to 2-1. Bonwick gets a yellow card. Gularte gets a yellow card. We're up 2-1 at the half, but we're going to have to be careful to not attack too aggressively in the second half because both of our forwards or attackers, whatever you want to call them, have yellow cards. Okay, Barr, he's got two goals. Can we get to three? Rips a shot, and he has his first career hat trick. Goal number five on the season. We're up three to one. He's an absolute unit from the midfield. Charleston cuts back. They make it three to two. So we haven't won just yet. 
I, I'd be shocked if we lost. I'd say we should at least get a draw. Bar oh, off the bar. Bar off the bar. And it stays 3-2, to two, but we get the ball back in the 86th minute. We're in pretty good shape here. And then Barr passes ahead. Goularte gets his first career goal. Hopefully, again, we can keep him happy and sign him after the loan. 4-2 to two is the final. So we start off 2-0. and oh. Now we are in third place because we had our bye before most other teams. So Salt Lake 2, they're averaging three points per game just like us. I'd say we're tied for first with them. New York, too. I know they're in second, but they have two wins and a draw. We have two wins. I'd say we're slightly ahead of them. We'll continue on. That was an impressive performance. I'm going to praise the fans because the more fans you have, the more you get in the stands, the more bucks you get, the better you can build up your team. Let's see. So Gularte had a goal. Bonwick, Mustafa, and Barr had assists. Again, Barr had the hat trick. And we got a really solid 4-2 to win. We're going to praise Philip Barr in the news for his hat trick. And then we'll play Atlanta 2 to start our next game. But we'll look at our team quick. Go through the stats. Nothing special for our goalie. We can also see, oh, that's sad. His dad is dead. R.I.P. And then Pugat. Does he have an assist? Yes, he does. Perez, you know, he's just out there making plays. His mom is dead, RIP. Philip Barr, he's our superstar, even though he's a one and a half star player. His mom is dead, RIP. And I think the age was when they died. I don't think his mom had him at the age of 10, but five goals and three assists in two games. He's putting in some really good work. We've got Warren Mustafa. He's got a goal and an assist in two games. He's played pretty well, too. I don't know how long I'll keep most of these guys. Adebayo Bonwick. He's got a goal and an assist and a yellow card. And then the future Cesar Goularte. Two stars with four-star potential. Technique affects shooting. We're going to boost that first. He got a goal in his debut game for us. So that's the team. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. If you're excited for a retro goal series, be sure to subscribe. I will come out with these videos at least once a week. Ideally, two or three times a week is what I'm going to aim for. And again, let me know as well what you think I should do for length. Is two games good? Should I do three? Should I do one? I'll probably play around and do a couple of each and see you know what gets the best reaction from you guys as well. But with all of that being said, that's going to do it for today's video. Thanks everyone for tuning in, and until next time, and as always, peace out.